having said that let's move to our first board where we are just connecting two different switches in this fashion what is the meaning the meaning is i have connected two switch with two links first thing first let's see whether a loop exists in this network or not and believe me there is going to be a loop for example suppose we have one host a here and the other host b here what is going to happen if he wants to communicate to B, it is going to send an ARP. This ARP message will be broadcasted by this switch one on this port as well as this port. There is nothing new. When switch to receive the ARP message here, it will be forwarding, uh, forwarding it back to switch one on zero slash one port. And you can see there is a loop. The same ARP message which was going, which which went out of the zero slash one port, it's switch one is getting back the same message on zero slash one port. Again, the same process will be going on, and there is a loop. There is no doubt about it that. And if you do not have a spanning tree running here, which is which is going to block some of the port or at least one port here, so that the loop doesn't exist. Believe me, if there is no spanning tree, if there is no solution, switch one and switch two are going to reach 100% CPU in no time because of this broadcast storm. As simple as that. But now let's calculate how spanning tree will remove the loop in this two switch network. Very easy network, very simple network, right? So if I remind you, there are only three steps of calculating a spanning tree or the minimum spanning tree. Number one is we need to calculate the root bridge and this can be done on the basis of bridge ID, which is actually the MAC address plus priority. If you do not get the priority concept, leave it, lower the MAC address. There are high chances of carrying a switch as a root switch or root bridge. This was my first step. Only three steps were there. We are going to run these three steps on all the topologies, whatever we are going to discuss in this class. The second step was we are going on every non root bridge and we will be calculating a root port there. As simple as that, right? Because root port tells us that this is the port which is closest to my root which is closest to my root it is as simple as that right last is calculate designated port on every segment and that is it one designated port one segment one root port per non root bridge and and just need to find a root bridge that is it so let's see the first step now we need to identify root bridge and you all know that we can decide root bridge on the basis of lowest mac address and if you can see switch one is having the mac address as a a a and switch two is having mac address as b b b you can see that mac address of switch one is smaller than as compared to mac address of b it is going to be the root switch if i tell you the priority plus mac concept so bridge id means priority plus mac so by default the priority is something 32768 i am not sure on the number just have a look at it and the mac address is whatever the mac address of the system so by default priority is going to be same so we can take decision on the basis of lowest mac address which we are actually taking but suppose if you want to make switch 2 as a root then definitely you cannot change the mac address of the switch 2 but you can change the priority you can just make the priority a little less maybe you can make the priority maybe whatever right 1024 which is less than this as simple as that right so you can tweak the priority so that you can decide on the root bridge but root bridge root bridge election is very very simple the lower the mac address the higher the chances of switch to be a root bridge it is as simple as that so step number one there is no brainer we can do that and how it is happening at the back end you all know that 
switch one is sending the BPDUs and to begin with it is sending the BPDU by saying the my MAC address or I am the root right switch tree is also sending the BPDU I am the root because nobody knows who is the root to begin with right but when switch to see is that somebody else is saying I am the root switch tree is going to check its MAC address which is written inside this BPDU I will show you the BPDU in Wireshark today believe me so inside this BPDU MAC address of switch 1 is written and switch 2 is going to compare this MAC address with its own it is going to find that the MAC address of switch 1 is AAA lesser than me and then he is going to say no I am not root bridge now switch 1 is the root bridge and it is going to say switch 1 is the root bridge inside this BPDU it will write that there is somebody with MAC address AA who is the root and here is my MAC address after some time everybody will be having the same consensus there are only two switches and we can say that the network is converged that switch one is the root bridge it is as simple as that so first step is done very very easy step you all agree right now let's talk about the second step right the second step is we need to find the root port but where on every non root bridge switch who is the non root bridge this is the root bridge and all, only we have two bridges or switches here so basically we can say this is the non root bridge and i need to find at least one root port means a port which is most closest in terms of coast to the root and of course how we are going to take the decision we are going to take the decision on the basis of bpdu which are advertised by the switch one switch one will be advertising the bpdu on zero slash zero port with what cost of course zero if you configure here 10 if you configure here 10 still it is going to advertise the cost at zero and the reason is because switch one is the root bridge the cost is the measure of how much far away root bridge is and if switch one is advertising this bpdu it is saying i am the root bridge there i am the root bridge and there, there is why there is no distance between me and root and that is why it is saying zero similarly on zero slash one port when switch one advertise the bpdu it is going to put cost at zero of course it is going to put its own mac address also there is no doubt about it these two will be reaching here and i mentioned in last classes when they switch receives the bpdu it will be adding its cost whatever is configured on this interface to the cost whatever it is getting in the bpdu so zero it is getting it is going to add 10 it means that switch 2 will receive a bpdu with cost 10 on zero slash zero interface there is no doubt about it right same thing is going to happen on 0 slash 1 port 0 slash 1 port of the switch is carrying again 10 cost ppdu so on the basis of cost we cannot decide we cannot decide what is my root port because the root port is going to tell me the best port of a switch through which it can reach the switch which switch root bridge right if the cost is same what we do you all remember that if the cost is same then we have to go on the next tiebreaker which is actually the MAC address try to understand in this bridge switch one is going to send its own MAC address here also and here is my problem I cannot take the decision on the basis of MAC also why because if the MAC address is different, I would have chosen the smaller MAC address BPDU, which is going to be the best BPDU. But here, my problem is MAC is same. So MAC address cannot be the tiebreaker because on zero slash zero interface of the switch, I am receiving a cost as 10, MAC address as AAA. I cannot decide on the basis of MAC address because on zero slash one also, I am receiving the cost as 10, but the MAC address here also AAA. So switch 2 cannot take the decision on the basis of MAC address 2. 
If that is the case, there is another tiebreaker, believe me, and that tiebreaker is known as port priority. As simple as that. But what is this port priority? Generally, it is a number on the port. For example, this is a 0 slash 0 port. So what I'm going to write that here is my port priority, which is 0. This is the port priority or PP, you can say. But on the interface, which is 0 slash 1, it is going to be 1 because the number is 1. So port priority is going to be 1. Now, switch 2 is receiving port priority value on 0 slash 0 interface as 0 and port priority value on interface 0 slash 1 as 1. And in spanning tree, smaller is better. When we talk about cost, smaller is better. When we talk about MAC address, smaller is better. When we talk about port priority, smaller is better. So we are receiving a BPDU, right, with a port priority 0. On which port we are receiving? Here, 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. What is the best BPDU received on this port? 0 and 0, 0 and 0, 1. You all know now the best BPDU is the priority 0, not the 1. So 0 slash 0 port will be decided as the root port. Why? Because it is receiving the best BPDU, which is not decided on the basis of cost, which is not decided on the basis of MAC address, which is decided on the basis of port priority. As simple as that, right? So, the whole soul conversation, whatever I did in the last 5-10 minutes, we have decided the second step. Thank you so much, Burak. Now, so 0 slash 0 port, if you can see here, there is no doubt about it, it is going to become the root port. And switch 1 is the root bridge. So first step is absolutely done. Second step is absolutely done. Third step is to calculate designated port on all the segments. How many segments we have here? By the way, cost is here 10, cost is here 10. How many segments we have here? Only two segments. Segment means the link between switch 1 and switch 2. Right? Or any link. So this is my segment number 1. This is my segment number 2. And I have to identify designated port port on these two segments so there are two segments means i need to identify two designated port it is as simple as that how can i do that you all know the definition of designated port is a port which is sending the best bpdu on that segment and you all know if i talk about this switch one if switch one port 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 they are sending the BPDU with the lowest cost. Why? Because they are the root bridge. Who else can send the best BPDU than the root switch itself, right? It is sending the BPDU with the zero cost. And what they are going to receive? The BPDU with the 10 cost. Why? It is not like that, that the switch to is not going to send the BPDU. It is going to send the BPDU, right? But it is going to say, via me if you want to reach to root bridge you are going to uh, you are going via 10 cost or the cost is going to be 10 because you need to come anybody need to come and then come to me and then basically there is a link which is having 10 cost so on the segment number one zero slash zero port of the switch is sending the bpdu with the cost one which is any time better than whatever it is going to receive from any other switch. And 0 slash 1 also, it means that these ports, and as I mentioned in my previous classes also, that the, all the ports on the switch 1, which is a root bridge, or the all the ports of the root bridge are going to be designated port because it is root switch, guys. It is sending the best PPDU because there is no distance it is a zero distance away from the root switch because it is the root switch, right? So if I do again the calculation, if I run the third step to calculate the designated port, this is my root port, this is the designated port on this segment, and this is the designated port on this segment. Really, really interesting. If that is the case, 
zero slash one is not having any status it is not the root port no i'm talking about zero slash one port of the switch it is not the designated port no absolutely not so in the last after these three steps i said if a port doesn't belong to rp or dp then it is the blocking port spanning tree is going to block this here as simple as that it means the spanning tree which you are going to create <laughs> create in this topology the traffic is moving across this length it is as simple as that if you have any doubt you can ask otherwise we can move to the next port thanks again supreme